Hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. More than a year ago, I released a video about converting a very old globe router to be a converged Wi-Fi extender. Check out the link that'll pop up in the screen or get the same link from the video description below if you want to watch that. In this video, we are going to do the same, but this time we will be converting a converged router. A Huawei Echo Life EG8145V5 model to be exact, to be a PLDT Wi-Fi extender. I also want to note that all the steps that I'll be showing you in this video are applicable to the specific mentioned router model. Although, the general idea of resetting, disabling it to be a primary DHCP server and assigning a static IP address on the router, are applicable to any router model. So if you have an old router lying around, don't throw them out. Instead, experiment on how to repurpose it. As long as the router is not defective, it can be a Wi-Fi extender or a Wi-Fi repeater. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright. The first thing to do is to power up the router. Plug in the power adapter to the wall outlet. Then plug the other end of the charger to the power input of the router. Make sure that the power button beside the power input of the router is pushed in as well. Then wait for the WLAN LED to light up. OK. After about 30 seconds, the WLAN is lit now. Next thing to do is to hard reset the router. At the side part of the router, you will see a poke hole for the reset. Just grab a small rod that can fit to the hole and push the small button inside the hole. You can use a needle or a pin or a toothpick, which is what I am going to use here. Just poke the hole for about 2 to 3 seconds. You'll know that the reset has been triggered when the light in the LOS and the WLAN has turned off. You'll need to repeat pushing the reset hole until that happens. There we go. Now the reset is in progress. We'll know that it's done when the WLAN LED light turns back on. This usually takes about 1 minute to finish. There we go. The router has been hard reset now. Before we proceed, make sure that you take note of the details in the back sticker of your router, especially the IP address which is the access point for the router settings. We also need the username and password to get inside the router setting page. Also take note of the SSID of the router. Either the 5GHz or 2.4GHz SSID will do, but I'll be using the 5G SSID more often in this video. Finally, remember the WLAN key which is the default password that we'll use when we are connecting to the SSID later. These data could be different for every router, even with the same model, so take good care of that sticker at the back of your router. I also want to show you the main source of our connection. This RJ45 LAN cable here is directly connected to my PLDT router, which will be the main source of our connection, and where we'll connect this converge router later to make it to PLDT's Wi-Fi repeater. Just to prove that this line is a PLDT line, let's do a speed test. As you can see here, it is a PLDT source. Let's start the speed test. As you can also see here, I am on a wired connection, since the PLDT LAN cable is plugged into my laptop. OK. I think that is clear enough to everyone now. Let's now remove the LAN cable from the PC, since we will need to connect to the Converge router and start configuring it to be a Wi-Fi repeater. Now let's connect to the Converge router's SSID. Here it is, the 5G SSID. You will need to enter the WLAN key from the back of the router as the password for this SSID connection. OK. We are now connected. It of course, has no internet yet, and that's OK. You can also connect to the 2.4 GHz SSID, if you want. It will have the same effect. Let's now go to the IP of the router as shown from the back of the router earlier. That is 192.169.100.1. But instead of logging and using the name and password from the back of the router, we will be using administrator credentials here. You can pause the video to copy these credentials as shown in the screen. We will check on the ONT web page here. Then click next. We will then just skip this page. OK. Then skip this next page again. Then click the return to home page button. Now, go to Advance, then to LAN and Layer 2 slash 3 port section. We will then enable LAN 1 through 4 by checking them. This is important as we need all the ports to be working and enabled. Then click the Apply button. Let's now move to DHCP Server section where we'll disable the DHCP server by unchecking the three items on the top here. The Enable Primary DHCP Server, DHCP Relay and Option 125. Then click the Apply button. Always click the apply button when doing a change on every page here, otherwise, the changes will not be saved. Now let's go to the LAN host section. Since the router is not a DHCP server anymore, we will need to assign a specific IP address for this router now. The IP address format should conform with the connection source's subnet mask, and in this case, it is PLDT. So, the first three part of your IP address should be 192.168.1, then the last part can either be number 2 up to 254. 
but this number needs to be unique across the whole network. Since our router dynamically assigns a unique IP address to all devices that connects to it, and the assignment starts from the bottom number going up, it is a lot safer to choose a high number to be assigned to this router. As an example for this video, let's pick 118. We will then need to disable the secondary IP address by unchecking the Enable Secondary Address checkbox. Then click the Apply button. That's it. We are now done with the Converge Router's configuration. Now that the router has been set up as a Wi-Fi repeater, let's now connect it to our source connection. Old routers have a dedicated port for the connection input, but new routers these days doesn't have that anymore, like this one. In these cases, the default connection input source port will be LAN 1. So let's plug the PLDT source to LAN 1 of this router. And I forgot, we also need to restart the router before we use it. We can just turn it off using its power button here. Let's wait for 10 seconds before we power it back on. Now let's wait for the LAN 1 and the WLAN LED to light up. LAN 1 is alive. And there we go. WLAN is also live. Now we are ready to test our connection. Using a phone and a PC, let's connect to the Converge Router's SSID. Let's use the 5G connection. Again, the password for this should be the WLAN key indicated from the back of the router, since we haven't changed any of the default values yet. Okay, we are now connected. Now let's do a speed test. Alright. Everything looks good. We are also having the same maximum speed just like the original source. Great connection. Now, to change the SSID name and password, let's go to the router's settings page. Since we have already set a static IP address to the router, its IP is not the one in the back sticker anymore. It is now the static IP that we've set, which is 192.168.1.118. Let's now log in using the username and password indicated from the back of the router, which is root and admin hw. Since we have reset the router earlier, this is considered as the router's first login, and you will be presented with an option to change the SSID name and password for both the 2.4 and 5 GHz connection here. You can enter any name and password you want here. Then click next. You are also given an option to change the root username's password here. You can change it if you want to, but for me, I'll skip that. And that's it. When we look at the available networks now, we should be able to see the new SSID names we've just set. There we go. We can now connect to that. Let's do another speed test just to be sure. And there you have it. Everything is working great. Finally, let's test the wired connection. I have a separate LAN cable here. The other end is already connected to the laptop. I am now connecting this end to the router's LAN too. As you can see, the Wi-Fi icon has changed to a wired network icon now. Let's do another speed test. There you go. The speed is on par with the previous tests that we've done. It's just weird that the source connection name did not refresh here. It still says Converge. But the speed is definitely from my PLDT router. Just to be sure, we can check the network icon here saying PLDT Home Fiber. All good. Everything is working as expected. That's it for this video. A quick and simple tutorial on how you can convert an old Converge router, repurpose it, and turn it into a PLDT Wi-Fi repeater. You can now place this router to any part of your house where the signal from your main PLDT router is low. No more Wi-Fi dead spots at home. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Noba Air.